All right, guys, in today's fun and exciting video of Math with Marty, we're going to be talking more about the physics of Newton's laws. More specifically, guys, we're going to be talking about Newton's second law of motion. This is actually a pretty exciting uh, lesson for me because Newton's second law is such a fun um, compact formula. Basically, the formula goes as such. The acceleration of an object is equal to the net force applied to the object divided by its mass. Okay, so more, more familiarly, I don't know if that's a word, um, in a more familiar form is F net equals MA. F net equals MA. This is the more familiar form. Um, that you probably, uh, if you're a fan of physics, have heard of. Okay, now we talked about the net force in a previous video. The net force is the sum of all the forces. This is basically us accounting for all the forces applied to an object. Now, there might only be one force applied to a certain object, in which case that force would be F net. But in some cases, that might not be the case. You might have a ball that's dropped from some height, and it undergoes air resistance. So there might be air resistance and gravity, and those two counteract each other, and that results in some net force that you have to calculate. I won't go into the details of that right now. I just want to talk about Newton's second law in further detail. Okay, so let's talk about an object that uh, has only one force applied to it. Okay, so special example. Okay. We're going to look at a ball that is pushed by some force F. And what we're going to do is we're going to ignore friction, okay? And again, that's something that we're going to do um, often in this crash course. We're going to ignore friction. So you get a ball, and you've got some force, F, okay? And the ball's mass is M. Um, this ball, so the ball will accelerate due to that force. It will change its uh, velocity, whether or not that velocity was at rest or at some constant velocity, the ball will accelerate, okay? This is actually a consequence of Newton's first law, okay? A, a, an object will maintain its motion unless acted on by some external force. So here, the ball will accelerate, okay? Um, it will change its motion. Uh, so the ball will accelerate at some acceleration A. Now, here's the question. What if the ball becomes twice as big? So now the ball's mass, ooh, that's not a ball. The ball's mass, guys, what if the ball's mass turns out to be 2m, meaning double the size, instead of m. So the ball is now twice as massive. Twice as massive. So instead of m, it's now 2m. But the same force is applied. So the same force but the ball is twice as massive. Turns out, acceleration is half as strong. Meaning the acceleration is half of now, of, of what it used to be at this point, okay? So because you double the mass, guys, you will half the acceleration. That is a consequence of the formula. Okay, so if you look at the formula, what we say here is that A is inversely proportional to M. 
meaning if m gets bigger a gets smaller okay so it's due to that formula so here we have a case where the mass is doubled and the acceleration is half as strong so what if the mass were tripled so let's talk about a green ball okay now the green ball has three times the mass but the same force F is applied well now you guessed it the acceleration is a third of what it used to be is a, a third of what it used to be okay great so that's basically proportionality in a nutshell okay but that only relates acceleration and mass now here's the question what if we go back to our white ball that has a mass M and now instead of applying a force F we apply a force 2F meaning we double the force but we keep the mass the same so we go back to the situation but we make this mass 2 2F we double it what happens to the acceleration well this is where things get interesting when force is doubled the acceleration of the object turns out to also be doubled if the force is tripled the acceleration is tripled and by the way we're keeping mass constant in this case so keeping mass the same all we're changing is the force what we're analyzing is what the effects are on the acceleration due to a increased force and we find that the acceleration is increased by the same multiple okay if the force is doubled the acceleration is also doubled that is also a consequence of the formula so if you go to the formula okay a is actually directly proportional to f f net in this case so if the if the force increases guys guess what so will the acceleration by that same multiple so if you have a force that's doubled the acceleration is doubled so what if you have a force that is tripled and it's applied to the same mass m you guessed it the acceleration will also be tripled if the force is quadrupled the acceleration is quadrupled okay so that folks is um, the second law Newton's second law in a nutshell hope this was helpful we also talked about proportionality statements which is really exciting um, for me and um, cool I, I hope to uh, see you in the next video uh, in the next video we'll talk about Newton's third law which is action reaction um, if you enjoyed this don't forget to leave a like subscribe comment and I'll see you in the next one guys love you peace out bye bye